This e-training module provides a brief introduction to the OpenLNS commissioning tool. The tool will be introduced through the creation and configuration of a simple two-device switch lamp network. A brief discussion of the LawnWorks Control Network concept shown is provided as they appear within the network design process. We begin by opening the Echelon OpenLNS CT program group. and selecting the OpenLNS commissioning tool. The design manager which appears is used to create new and manage existing LawnWorks networks. An OpenLNS CT network consists of an OpenLNS database and associated Visio drawing or drawings. As this is a new copy of OpenLNS CT, no database or drawing exists. Once we create and save our demonstration network, they will appear under the existing network area. A number of user setups can be pre-configured with the option to skip the prompt for these setups. The Show All Options checkboxes are provided to make the skipped prompts available. We begin by creating a new network. We can enter a new network name with a length of up to 16 characters long or use the default name Network 1. As our demonstration network will use a switch and lamp device, we will use the descriptive name Switch Lamp and click Create Network. OpenLNS CT opens Visio with the provided control network related shape stencils and initializes the network wizard. We accept the default network database and drawing paths and click Next. As we have a network interface and will be commissioning devices, we select Network Attached. A network interface is used to connect a PC to the physical LawnWorks network channel. In this example, the interface, labeled Lawn 1, is a U10 USB adapter connected between the computer and a TPFT10 twisted pair network. As we will always use Lawn 1 with this network, we can skip this prompt when reopening the drawing. Again, we click Next to continue. As we will be commissioning and configuring devices in this example, we select On Net as our management mode to immediately send changes to the devices. Again, we click Next to continue. Plugins. Graphical interfaces provided by many manufacturers to simplify configuring devices are added to a network with the plug-in registration prompt. In this example, we will be using one of the two plugins provided with OpenLNS CT, the Network Variable and Configuration Property Browser. Finally, we click Finish to begin creating the network. Visio opens in the full page view. To zoom into a specific area on the drawing page, hold down the keyboard shift and control keys. Position the magnify pointer to the lower left of the desired area. Press and hold the left mouse button. Move to the upper left corner of the desired area. And then release the mouse button. By holding the mouse pointer over an object shape, we can view the shape tool tips for that object. Here for example, we see the information for network's channel. Similarly, we can see the information about the network interface. An element of creating a LonWorks network includes adding control devices along with their associated functional blocks and other objects to the network. The OpenLNSCT Basic Shape Stencil provides shapes for the most commonly used network objects. We will add our first device to the network by clicking on the device shape and holding down the mouse button while we drag and drop the shape onto the drawing and release the mouse button at the desired location. The new device wizard opens. We will be adding our switch device first and giving it the name switch module. As there are no devices in this network yet, we need to select a new device template. The template contains all the network related attributes of a device such as its functional blocks network variables and configuration properties. We click Next to continue. A device template can be uploaded from a device connected to the network, or, loaded as an XIF, external interface file. 
In this case we will be using the XIF so click browse to locate the file. XIFs are typically located in the Loanworks import directory, or one of its subdirectories. We will be using Echelon's LAN point devices in this demo. For our switch module, we will be using the DI10 digital input device. Open LNSCT's wizards provide the option of completing the wizard with minimal steps. As we are done with the new device wizard, we can click finish without completing the remaining steps. Applications in devices are divided into one or more functional blocks, often called FBs, which contain the network variables and configuration properties for a specific function. We add a functional block to the drawing by clicking on the functional block shape and holding down the mouse button while we drag and drop the shape onto the drawing. To open the properties dialog box, the DI10 device contains a number of different functional block types. We will be using one of the combination analog digital input functional blocks. The device contains four of these FBs. We select the first FB and provide it a descriptive name. Switch 1. If additional FBs were added at this time, properties would reopen with the name incremented to switch 2, switch 3, and so forth. We have the option of adding a functional block's network variables shapes manually or having all added automatically. This option is not typically selected if an FB has a large number of unused network variables. In this instance, however, we want all the shapes created. We complete adding the functional block by clicking finish. We repeat the process to add our lamp device. As before, we give the device a descriptive name. Lamp module. Here we will show an example of commissioning the device as part of its creation process. If we were adding another DI10 device we could continue without adding a template. However, as the lamp module is the first of its type to be added to our network, we will need to create a new one. Click next to continue. As before we will use an XIF so click browse to locate the file. We will be using a different LAN point device, for the lamp module, a DO10 digital output device. Click next to continue. If desired, information about where a device will be located can be entered into the location string field. The ping interval allows OpenLNSCT to periodically verify that a device is still present on the network. We will not be using either feature in this example so click next to continue. Every LoanWorks device has a unique embedded 48-bit serial number called a neuron ID. When a LoanWorks network is created in the engineered mode without physically connecting to the network, the neuron ID is often entered manually using a barcode reader. As we are connected to the network, we can obtain the device's neuron ID over the network by pressing its service pin. Click next to continue. We will not be updating the device's application software so, click next to continue. Devices are typically commissioned in the offline state and placed online after they are configured. The source of configuration property values can be the OpenLNS database, the default values provided in the XIF or the current device values. This device has not been configured yet so the default values will be used. Devices that have been pre-configured with another tool should be set to use the current device values. We accept the defaults and click finish. To complete the commissioning process, we press the service pin on the physical device. Next we will add a functional block to the lamp module. The properties dialog opens with the lamp module pre-selected as the device. When adding FBs, it's best to confirm that you have the correct device selected. The DO10 has a number of functional block types available. We will be using one of its digital output FBs, of which four are available. We change the FB's name to lamp1. The functional block does not contain many network variables so we create all their shapes and click finish. Connections are made between devices through their network variables or NVs. An output NV can be connected to one or more input NVs of the same type through a process known as binding. OpenLNSCT provides safe type binding to ensure different type NVs are connected. 
In our example, we will be connecting Switch 1's DI digital output and V to LAMP 1's DO digital input and V. This connection can be made because both network variables are of the type SNVT switch. SNVTs, pronounced SNVTs are standard network variable types defined by Lonmark International to aid in interoperability. Because of safe type binding, we cannot inadvertently bind the switch to the LAMPS DO index which is of the type SNVT HVAC mode. We begin by selecting the connection shape, dragging and connecting the shape's upper left square to the digital output NV, and then connecting the lower right square to the digital input NV. Next, we will commission the switch module device. Begin by right mouse clicking the device shape, position the mouse over commissioning, and click on commission in the flyout menu. We will not be loading a new application image so click next. In this instance, we will commission the device online, and leave the database selected as the configuration property source. Click Next. We will use the service PN to acquire the neuron ID so can click Finish. To complete the commissioning, we press the service pin on the physical device. The solid green color of the switch module device shape indicates that it is commissioned and in the online state. The lamp module shape also indicated commissioned online even though we selected offline. This is because we did not set a ping interval while commissioning the device. To update the device shape, right mouse click it, click manage in the pop-up menu, and click test in the device manager. The results of the test show that the device, referred to as a node, is configured, that is commissioned and soft offline. The lamp module device's shape is now green crosshatch filled to indicate the same. We can use the device manager to place the lamp module online. We then close the device manager. Here we see a representation of the switch and lamp devices. When the physical switch is flipped, a message is sent from the switch module as a network variable update to the lamp module to indicate that the switch's state has changed. Note that the switch's position, down, is reversed from that used in some parts of the world for on. The switch module provides a configuration property or CP that we can modify with the OpenLNSCT browser plugged in to change this. We access the plug-in by right mouse clicking the switch 1 functional block and clicking on configure in the pop-up menu. The open LNSCT browser plug-in which opens can be used to configure devices that do not have a manufacturer supplied plug-in. The configuration properties are shown in green. Devices manufacturers provide CPs to configure functional blocks, network variables and the device node itself. SCPTs, skip it are standard configuration property types defined by Lonmark International to aid in interoperability. UCPTs, UKPITs, are user configuration property types defined by manufacturers. We see that switch 1's UKPIT invert input is set to true to invert the sense of the input switch. We can use the browser to change the CP value to false by selecting the new value and clicking the down set value button. As we see you keep an invert and put updates to false and the switch sense is no longer inverted. The switch is now on, when in the up position. Open LNSCT provides users the ability to monitor a connection. First monitoring must be enabled by right mouse clicking a blank space on the drawing. And selecting enable monitoring. To monitor a connection, simply double click it. Snivit switch is a structured network variable consisting of value and state fields. The value field has a range of 0.0 to 100.0%. State will either be 0 for off or 1 for on. Our switch only has on-off values so toggles between 100.01 for on and 0.00 for off. If the switch were a dimmer, it could adjust 0.0% and 100.0% and 0.5% steps with the state at 1 on for all values except 0.0. .0. When we are finished working with an open LNSCT network, we do not close it using the Visio file menu. Instead, to ensure the database is updated, we select Visio's Add-ins tab, click on the Open LNS Documents button, followed by the Save and Close All Open LNSCT Documents. Finally, we close the blank Visio page by clicking on File, followed by Exit. We see that our network drawing and database now appear under existing networks.
This completes the OpenLNS Commissioning Tool CT and Network Basics e-Training Module.